The last of our principles is the interdependence principle. And this one says that the choice that we're going to make depends on lots of other things. The choices that we make about other, about other things, the choices other people, or businesses or organisations make, the uh, activities in other markets, and what happens across time. So I've got a bunch of examples of each of these on the next few slides, but let me give you uh, a different set of examples just so you've got some variety. Let's do some examples related to gasoline. So dependencies between each of your individual choices. If you choose to buy a gas-powered car, then you're going to need to buy gasoline to fuel it. If, on the other hand, you choose to buy an electric car, you won't have to buy that gasoline. So the choice of the type of car that you're going to buy impacts your choice about how much gasoline you're going to have to buy. Second one, dependencies between businesses and people and organizations. Let's suppose that you're running a gas station and a new gas station opens up across the road from you. Well, the scarce resource that you guys are competing for is customers, right? And so that the action of the other business is going to have an impact on your business. Third one, dependencies between markets refers to things like if the price changes in one market, how does that affect how much we're going to buy of a different product? So if we think about the price of gasoline rising, that's going to have an impact on the type of car that you would choose to buy. Yeah. So here, what's happening in the one market, the market for gasoline, affects the choices that people are going to make in the other market, the market for vehicles. Fourth one, dependencies across time, and this time I'll cheat and use my example from the slides. Everyone knows that we want to, that we keep, we should keep an eye on the price of gasoline and try to gas up uh, when the price of gas is low. If we make a choice to gas up today, then that means we're unlikely to need to gas up tomorrow, which is great if gas prices rise tomorrow, but bad if they fall. So in that way, the choice that we're making today affects the set of choices that we'll need to make tomorrow. Our textbook authors, when trying to uh, help us think about these dependencies, encourage us to ask, what else? What else might my decision affect? And what else might affect my decision?